neighborhood watch as their bona fide and backed lynch mob that targets certain people and they work with the police, they target certain people that they want that are quote undesirable and they kick them out of the area. So let him answer um, the first part. So uh, thank you for making it plain and laying it out. Uh, I appreciate what you're saying about USC. I'm, you and I are the exact same age. My, the first family, the first house that my family owned when they came from Louisiana to Los Angeles was in the USC neighborhood and they lost it uh, as a result of, well we lost it as a result of USC expansion. And I, uh, I work out at USC so I'm there like three times a week. Uh, so I know what you mean about the law enforcement because when I'm in my gym clothes, I look like one of these people that you're describing that might, that could be undesirable. And I get, you know, I have the conversations that you're, you're uh, describing um, and I can see how the harassment happens. So USC is, I have to, I'll be honest with you, USC is tough. USC is tough. The community benefits process, I was a part of it as well. I wasn't on the city council at the time. I was an executive director of community coalition. I also left at the same exact time when they said you have to sign something saying you can't sue if you are in the room for this process. I left because I knew you know, community coalition in the future might want to be a part of a lawsuit or I might want to be a part of a lawsuit. Um, and you know, the, the, I will tell you, uh, one of the things I will say uh, that doesn't fix this, but it's something to remember in the future, because this that's not the last development that will happen. I don't, in my district, I do not encourage community benefits agreements. No, they're a sham. The reason why I don't is because the recourse to them